Here's what's on the menu for today. Oh, and welcome to Delala's Everyday Soul. I want to have today. She got on my nerves so bad. When you... You know? So it's this kind of thing, like the platter I'm going to post later for you that I did yesterday. Oh, you're going to post it? No, you're <laughs> going to post it. <laughs> When I tell you it was so good, I thought I was going to kill myself. <laughs> Welcome to Delala's Everyday Soul. I am Delana and this is my mother. Delala. Delala. And to our Facebook family, you know now we also film um, YouTube as well. So I don't know, Jason, where you want to look. Jason's worked but, so hard on YouTube. But good morning to YouTube as well. And welcome in to the Lala's Everyday Soul. I'm trying to get my mom to look over there to say <laughs> hello. And she's because like, I always cleaning her look. glasses. She's like, <laughs> because I have to Jamaica. be ready. So, okay, we're going to make salmon cakes, which is. You can do it two ways, but I didn't want to get too complicated because of time. You could take your own salmon and you can poach it, okay? And then chill it, crumble it, and you have salmon. Or buy a can of salmon. I tend to buy wild pink. You can get pink or red. That doesn't matter here nor there, okay? This is Merlin seasoning because I want a little spice in it. All right. Uh, bread crumbs, they're gluten free because I thought about Delena and myself. Eggs, and I do about uh, one egg to a cup for all of you. One egg to eight ounces. Okay, you got that? Eight to 12, 12, eight. Here 12 she, to here she goes with 16, the measurements. One, one egg, right? Yeah. Chopped parsley. This is green pepper and onion that I've chopped. Fresh thyme, black pepper. And here I'm not using my fresh ground pepper mill uh, because I don't want it coarse ground. And thyme, dry onion, granulated garlic, smoked paprika because I wanted that smoky taste to it and Himalayan salt. Okay, so. That's on the salmon cake side. That's outstanding. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause we couldn't do it without you. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna go over to this side. So this would be Delala over here. This is all me, okay? Ace Benedict. I love a soft egg. I'm gonna do because this would be Delala ordering at the restaurant. Spinach, which I'm going to saute. Avocado. I have some smoked salmon I'm holding in the refrigerator because it's a raw product. I would have smoked salmon. I tend not to get the English muffin underneath of it, but I will do it today for you. I will also make one with the salmon cake without it. It's your choice, okay? The lady was like, Sarah, yeah. I said, be quiet. <laughs> this is me cooking. So we have scallion, uh, fresh parsley, which I'm just topping with, Himalayan salt. Uh, this is distilled white vinegar, which we need for poaching the eggs. And I'm going to show you two ways, maybe three ways to poach an egg because it can get a little complicated. And I'm going to show you what will kind of help you. And the secret is fresh eggs. Butter, this is a very rich dish. So you've got eggs in the holidays, eggs on the plate, butter. So it's rich, all right? And of course, I'm going to put Merlin's in my holiday sauce just to make it a little spicy. So, we're going to start with boiling water. You want a, a pot that is deep and has space because we're going to make like a swirly kind of thing going on to drop the egg in. 
All right, so I'm gonna fill this with some water, all right? So we want that pot to be, and it's almost there, almost full, about three quarters of the way up. And we're there, okay? I want this on a rolling boil, so I'm gonna put this on the largest eye on my stove. And on a high heat, I'm gonna get that rolling. This is my vinegar. We'll sit that over here to the side for a sec. I got my crepe pan. I'm gonna put that on low because I just wanna get my English muffins brown and then I wanna saute. So I'm gonna put a little olive oil on that so that can heat. Uh, here I have English muffins and these are Ezekiel's. Uh, they are a sprout, gluten-free. Um, this is our traditional English muffin, which technically you can pull apart. So English muffins are, you really don't cut them. You kind of just break them because you want the, all the crannies and the little holes in them. So I'm going to toast these on top. Again, I told you last week I toast my bread on the stove instead of using a toaster. So mom, are you using Merlin's um, no salt? With I'm using Merlin's no salt. And I tend to always use Merlin's no salt. That's me. Cause I add my own salt to my product. Here's our spinach, which will cook so quickly, so quickly. And you can always poach and I'm now, gonna, wait a I'm, minute, Mom. I'm going to stop you because you mentioned this last week about you and your hands. I know. I know. Don't do that. Don't, don't do, do, that. do that. You all don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> Please don't do it. I, it's a habit. <laughs> don't do that. It's a habit. Let me get some tongs. My mom doesn't have habit. feeling in her hands. I do have feeling, but they're tempered. <laughs> it's a habit. Don't do it. All right. Get me. your tongs. <laughs> get your tongs and just wrap it around. Right. Yeah, do and you, you don't want to overcook it. You see, I didn't put anything in here but a little olive oil. And I'm just, you want to get a little heat. This is good. So that's that's all I want on there. Okay, Bridget put the Okay, that's all in. I want. So I'll do another one. While that pan's hot, go for it. Welcome in, welcome in, everyone. Today my mom is making salmon cakes and eggs benedict so this is all you want you just want to just sweat or wilt that spinach and i'm taking it over to my cutting board so it can sit you want to get it off the heat as long as it's in that pan it's cooking so let's get over here to our salmon because i want to i'm going to turn that down and i'm going to turn that off for right now and we're starting to get some bubblies. I'm going to put my vinegar in. You see the little bubbles on the side? So we're, we're getting into that boil situation is going to start in a minute, which I want. So here we go, salmon cakes. And I opened it. I'm not going to kill it. That's it. You see, I just broke it up a little bit. And I kept a little bit of the moisture. And it kind of sucked it in. So that's about it. All right, this is Merlin's. Not too much because it's got some heat. Our dry thyme. Parsley fresh. Uh, that was our fresh thyme, I'm sorry. Our fresh parsley. And you see that I use granulated garlic, not garlic salt, a lot. Onion. Powdered onion, not onion powder, not onion salt, I'm sorry, pep, smoked paprika, black pepper, dry thyme. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome in. And this is something, so when you're just eyeballing out like this, you saw me just boo 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 boo. We've got some chopped onion and green pepper. When you're just eyeballing like this, um, my thing to do is to, we want a little bit of the breadcrumbs just to bind it. 
so it's not so wet. I don't like a lot of breadcrumbs. So that's good for me. Because we're still going to put an egg in here. Okay. I may only need one. Let me see. Because I don't, I don't want to keep adding breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs is what um, helps the egg. The egg and the breadcrumbs is what binds it. So, say if you're not sure, you know, did I put enough salt or pepper seasoning in it? And I, I really just look at it. Does it look like, you know, it's got all the things throughout? And how's that texture? So I don't want it too gooey, sticky, tight. I want it kind of moist, and I want to make a cake out of it. So I think that's good. I'm not going to add the second egg. It didn't need it, and I think because of the moisture that I used in it. So, Mom, on the seasonings, about how much are you? Um, uh, okay. Probably about a uh, teaspoon. About a teaspoon. Of not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. And you can, people shape these different. You can make it like a burger. And you see it's holding together. And that's all you want it to do. So it doesn't require a whole, whole lot of anything. I think that's a good one right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And our pan was hot. When I laid that, it started cooking. I'm going to make another one. You can put tomato in it as well. So to keep my oil all around in the pan, you see I picked it up and kind of swirled my pan around. So, uh, you know, because I don't, sometimes depending on the pitch of your grate on your uh, stove, it kind of will roll to one side or the other of the pan. So we've got two little ones because I made one big old one and <laughs> one medium and now two little. So it's good. Yeah, so on the pans, um, what my mom always says is an, an all um, metal pan. So if you need to put it in the oven, then you're, you're able to do that. Um, something with a pretty nice weight on it. She loves all clad, but it doesn't have to be an all clad. All clad is an investment. Again, you do not lend your cookware or any of your <laughs> kitchen utensils out at all. They don't go to your mother's. They don't go to your daughter's. And she swears they by that. They don't go anywhere. I borrowed a sheet pad and she like hunted me down. The That's next, right. Bring the it next, back. The next, Bring the it next back day. now. I was like, you didn't even give me a chance to get it back to you. Gosh. Bring it back now. Because I am not buying stuff to replace. I'm buying stuff to have. So I just turned that down to medium. My good, uh, let's go to the one I put in first. And this is her fish spatula. Another thing that I love. Yep. And tell them why you like this fish, the fish spatula. It's thin. It has that, that uh, curve and it just lifts so nicely. So we brought this to a boil. So it's always good to drop, this looks great. It's a nice egg. That, do you see, this really didn't have, so these are fresh. Get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. So, this is a way, if your egg is a little old or it's, uh, you know, got the white running, you, see, this is great. These eggs are great right here. They're fresh. Um, I believe in pastured eggs, not just cage-free, pastured. So that means that the little chicks are able to run around and be free. So, we got like no runoff. So this will tell you, see how there's like nothing coming off of this egg. Got that? 
and I'm going to put that in. And the reason why I'm putting, cracking them and putting them in bowls, it's easier to drop them in for the poaching likely, process. You see me lining things up over here. And this yeah, is because pretty. they are going into the oven. All of my ingredients so I can assemble hot. So we got a rapid boil. That's what we want, a rapid boil. And we're going to turn that down and we're going to get it to a simmer. Okay. We want that rapid boil to calm down. The reason being, we if you drop that egg in a rapid boil, it's going to tear it up. Mm. Eggs are very, very, very delicate. So this is good. I want you to catch this. You want to go in and you want to get that going. Like a swirl. Ooh. Like a whirlpool. Yup, like a whirlpool, right? And you see how the middle. You see how the middle is kind of sunken, sunken in, mm -hmm. right? Funnel. You got it? funnel. Thank you, Delena. Come on, egg. Swirl up. This. It's three, it's soft. Three minutes. So I was watching my clock when I dropped that. I was stirring and watching the clock. So you see all of this runoff? That's it. We take that. We don't want to have one more minute and I'm going to take it out and it will be perfect. So the, the temperature of the pot is, um, it's like a low low medium heat at first it was like really high and so it's lower so that it has time to cook through like you don't want to scorch the outside as my mom said um said and the inside not be got it where so, you need it to be so we're gonna do it again yeah so the pot is still on pot's still on but it's not a um a high heat it's a medium low heat We'll stir and get the funnel. We're going to do it again. Going. There is vinegar in the water. My mom put it now in. Now that I measured, one tablespoon of vinegar. One tablespoon of vinegar. Because you don't want it to taste like vinegar. That's exactly right. See, I know some stuff. <laughs> she thinks she does. She's been around it long enough to know. Okay, the funnel's going. The egg is swirling in there. Now, I'm gonna show you something totally different with a poached egg. This to me is the easiest way. I know what you're getting ready to do, what? but I think this is easier. What? Well, when you show them the next okay. way, you'll see. But so I that's cooking, the they're fine. Way. They saw that going on. All right, we're gonna take some saran wrap. Actually, where's some butter? I'll steal a little bit. I'd rather have the butter in there. You can do oil, you can do butter. So saran wrap, a little little bowl. Yeah, because you want, you got a... Something that's about the size. Mm -hmm. We're going to put our egg in. I got to grab my egg out of there. So this is like a cheat way. This is a cheat. Okay. <laughs> and we make a little pocket. This is a cheat. Yeah, this is the way a lot of people like to get their eggs, to get the poached eggs. So there's the poach. We're going to let that one go. All right? We have a cup of butter, a half a cup of butter, which is a stick. Okay. I'm going to warm that. Melt that. Not warm it, melt it. The people who are kind of like on the non-cook side say it's a lot of work. Right. That's why I'm showing you the other way. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm showing you the other way. All right. For, so for hollandaise, you want yolk. You don't want your whites. Save your whites and eat some egg whites later. Got it? So we want just the yolk. Yes, we want you all to try this. That's oh, Delala. Yeah, she messed up. That's um, not. 
All so right. We want you to try it. Egg work with me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. It's a timing thing, though, going on there. So I've got to stay with that. I can't lose that. So I'm just trying to get all the white off. I wish my mom knows that part. But okay, wait, Bob. There's our third one out of the plastic. Okay. okay, so we've got our spinach, we've got our eggs, we've got our salmon, we've got our English muffin. We are working on our hollandaise. So you see, I got a glass bowl. I'm repurposing on my hot water because I need that heat. So I'm letting that bowl warm up. Um. I really want the clarified butter off of this, so I'm going to strain as much of that um, foamy top that you see there off. So I'm just letting that come down. This gets lemon juice, butter, and egg yolk. That's it. And you're constantly whisking, 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 whisking. So that was my avocado I had sliced. So where will this will go on top of the poached egg? It's going to go, yeah. The poached egg the is going to go on top. It's part of the building. Okay. All right. Let me turn this down on a little low because that's rolling. Because what we don't want is for our eggs to start cooking. Because again... So I'm just skimming, you see? It's just a little skim. We don't want the eggs to cook. All right. I think that's good enough. Oh. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, the avocado slices are just to your liking. Yeah, that's just something I add because I she like it. She loves avocado, that's all. I like it. And I love it with spinach. Now, to me, the holiday sauce is the, is the more difficult piece over the post -aid. It's a double boiler situation, and I purposely use this glass bowl because I want you to be able to see. Where did I put? Oh, here it is, my lemon. You can use a white wine as well if you want to make it a little dressier. You could put white wine in this, and we're going to stir, 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 stir. This is like a uh, whipping cream for your uh, whipped cream peaks. And I'm gonna try to come around so you guys can see a little bit. So oh, don't make me have to start this over. Oh, oh it's coming, yay! We saved the day! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! So you saw that, right? You saw it going a little south there. We grabbed it back with yes. a little bit of water. So <laughs> Shay has a great point. Ooh, thank so you. Ooh. In live cooking, yes, everyone needs to see that adjustments are real. Ooh, so there we go. <laughs> tell them what you tell them what you did and why you put the water. Because in. it was starting to separate, and that's what I didn't want it to do. And that's the whole big thing with Hollandaise. It's separating. And you just put a little bit of water in, and that brought it back. Woo! Yeah. So I have my smoked salmon. Exactly, Bridget. <laughs> I had to keep that in the fridge. Woo, baby! I was like, smoked let's salmon. do it. So really, just Mom, do it. Mom, to your point about the, um, the salt, uh-huh. Yeah, she's about to shout. Yes, she is. So <laughs> about the salt and not needing a lot of salt. When you're adding this po um adding this smoked salmon, there's a lot of salt. Salt, yeah. You saw me put a pinch in the hollandaise, but that's it. I you know, you may want to put some on top of uh, you know. Do you want okay. bread underneath the salmon cake? Um <laughs> 
Do I want bread? I, yeah, I'll take bread. That's the Ezekiel bread? No. Oh. <laughs> no. No. Okay, this is our salmon cake. Oh, maybe I didn't want bread. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll let you have that too. So, we're going to build... Our smoked salmon. Just a couple pieces. You don't need a lot. It's very rich. Very rich. That is very, very rich. one of my favorites. Yes, my mom has tons of plates. That's not even half of them. I'm going to put the spinach. They saw your cabinet again, Mom. What, inside? Put plates, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one set. Yes. <laughs> it's a passion. It's a passion. It's a love. It's a love-hate relationship. An obsession. No, it's a love-hate <laughs> relationship, actually. Because uh, I have to keep out of the stores. Right. Or I will buy more. I just fall in love with them. Looks great. Yeah. I won't put more spinach because for me, I could eat more spinach. Oh, come back here. All right, we're put. I can tell you one thing Jason will not be eating. <laughs> No, not the poached steak for sure. Oh, yes. To, with uh, fresh parsley. Now I'm going to put, do you want scallion? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put some scallions. I'm going to have scallions on mine. And a little Merlin's just to top it off. Yep. There's my mom's phone ringing again. Woo, baby. You know how that goes. So, the true test. The phone has become part of the show. Of a poached egg. <laughs> mm -hmm. Perfectly poached. There you go. Looks good. I'd now. say bone appetit. Yes. That looks just great. I can't wait. So now, let's see, because there are a lot of people who don't like runny eggs, poached eggs. You leave them in longer. So instead of three minutes, you want to give that egg five minutes for a medium six minutes for hard mm -hmm. okay that doesn't work for you put some scrambled eggs on top i was gonna say <laughs> if that doesn't work put for a you, fried fry egg. an egg and yeah. put it on top put a you know? fried egg on but top. yes 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 it does it looks really good mom thank you, you took us to a different place today this Yay! Is, um, you all know my mom for uh, Southern cuisine, but this is really like more up her alley. This is the lala right here. She likes to eat. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes and yes. So thank you for joining us today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope you try it. So yeah, try what do we it. do? Try something new. You plan, you shop, you prep, and you cook. So bon appetit and continue to cook. All right. We will see you on Tuesday. And we'll see you on YouTube. Yes. And we we'll will. see you on Facebook Live. Tuesday yep, our Facebook and family. Be sure to head over to YouTube and subscribe and share out with your 
with your friends and, and your family. network. And so they can learn too. And thank you for all of your support Absolutely. on our marketplace with Jism and Merlin and Delilah's Everyday Soul Cookbook. Yep. The next edition is coming. It's coming. <laughs> all right, guys. See you Tuesday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you for joining us. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, right there. Go ahead and subscribe and be sure to tell a friend. See you next time.